Let's talk briefly about why I chose to use a GLU short here. All too often, I think, as programmers, we just get accustomed to using ints, and so you may want to say glint instead, if I can find it here. Well, if I use an unsigned int, that gives me the double amount of positive range. I grab that extra little bit to essentially double my positive range that I can have. And indices are always positive. We're not going to index negatively into our array of vertices here. So that's why we put the u there. And then the short, uh, I could say u byte and save some room there. If I say byte, well, uh, an int is four bytes, uh, whereas a byte is just one byte. So for each index, I would actually save three bytes per index. So that would be extremely optimal. But generally, we're dealing with more than 255 vertices, which means I need a little bit more range. And generally, not all the time, but usually our models have have uh, there are a number of indices or vertices. The number of vertices uh, falls well within the range of a U short. So the U short is kind of that sweet spot between ha using up too much data and wasting RAM versus uh, not having enough RAM to store the numbers that I'm trying to store. So that's why I'm using GLU short. If you want to learn more about binary numbers and hex and how numbers are stored in computers, bits, bytes, ints, those kind of things, go look at my binary videos playlist, and that also accompanies the assembly programming playlist if you wish to learn more about that.